This is hydrogen tap. That's the Aaron cell you're looking at there, 15 plate system. What you're looking at here is a video of an interesting phenomena that I ran across. I thought you might be interested in. I was getting ready to perform another test when suddenly what you see might be intriguing. The Aaron cell is has 15 plates in it that's all stainless steel, 0 0.028. I have it off right now. It's hooked to a 12 volt battery, but the switch is off. Look very closely. If you look close, you're going to see some bubbles appear here. Remember, the switch is off. It's hooked to a 12 volt battery. And this is what we see. Now I'm just taking for granted that there's enough current going through the switch to cause this hydrogen bubbles, or I believe hydrogen bubble to appear. It's got to be a really small amount because the switch is in the off position. But taking even that in account, with all 15 plates, we're putting quite a load on an almost none current situation here. And it seems that there's only one plate or two plates that the bubble is appearing. As this goes on, you're going to see another bubble start appearing. And there it is. I have now disconnected the battery completely. There's no battery, no current being drawn through this. And you watch, there's another bubble on the left. As you can see, we're still getting a reaction. I'm not claiming that there's any magic here, nor am I claiming that anything new is occurring. All I'm doing is showing you what is happening. While I appreciate any comments you make, those of, you who, those of you who are getting ready to pen and ink me, telling me that this doesn't really matter, don't do it. It does matter. Every little piece of information helps. If you look closely, you're going to see that this is still, there's another bubble. Remember, there is no connection to the battery. What makes this interesting, to me at least, is that the only current or the only thing that could cause the hydrogen bubble to appear would mean the molecules 